Hey, welcome back. In this video, I want to talk about Moonju Nectar, the new favorite food of the Flawless Slime. Let's get started. Okay, so you're probably wondering, what is it and where do I find it? Now, Moonju Nectar is the favorite food of the Flawless Slimes. Uh, it's actually not the favorite food, it's their only food. It's the only thing they eat in their base form. If you combine them with Largos, of course, they are also going to eat the things of the slime that you combine them with, but on their own, they only eat Nectar. Now, what does this nectar look like? Now, this is how it looks. It's actually basically this ball of water that is completely contained by a leaf. And there is one big problem with this thing. This is a completely new food category. This isn't meat, fruit, or vegetables. So it actually gets its own line of food category. But the problem is, because it's a completely different thing, and we don't get a specific building for it, we can't actually create it ourselves. So unlike a fruit or a vegetable that you place in a garden or chickens that you place in a coop, well, basically you can't make this yourself. You always have to go forge this in the Starlight Strand. Now, where do you actually find them? Well, they are actually created by this flower on top of these plants, statues and walls. So as you can see, every tree actually has this like light blue, white flower on top of it. And basically you can actually grow some nectar in that. So basically you can just go through this area and you know see some orb just lying on top of this flower and that's going to be the nectar that you desire. Now this nectar will only spawn during the night, that's a promise. And it will actually, because it spawned during the night, it will actually pretty much be already decayed if you find it in the evening on the ground. Now, from personal experience, I went through the entire map and the most of these flowers that you can find is, of course, over here in the most southern part of the Starlet Strand, really close to the Flutter Gordo and the Ringtail Gordo. Um, pretty much how much more north did you go, how much more rare they get. I found a few around this big tree in the middle of the map. If you actually want to have any chance of really finding some, you're probably better off right here, the most southern part of the Starlet Strand. Now, personally, I find this like one of the most rare new resources in Slime Mansion 2. Now, I'm just going to run around this area really quickly and just see if I can actually find one. Okay, so I actually got really lucky. So I found this one over here on the floor, lying around here. So it probably fell off this tree. I think there's a flower on top of that. So let's just pick this up and let's see if we can find a few more. Okay, so there is already one over here, probably from that flower on top of that wall. Let's see, is there more? Okay, so I actually went around the entire area and these were the only two that I found. Uh, it's probably just being a little bit of lucky, maybe a few Flutter Slimes already ate a few while I was running around or just talking to you. I don't know, um, but right now I only found two in the, during the entire night of respawning, which is a little bit too bad. But for that reason, I would really advise that you just feed all your nectar immediately to the Flutter Slime. Because, you know, popping him is going to be our biggest priority. The flower slimes at your ranch, I really advise to just combine them with a Largo who has some really easy favorite food to collect and just give that to them. Because honestly, this Moondew Nectar, I think this is only going to be cool to just pop the Flutter Gordo. But after that, I think we're all going to be done with it and a little bit tired of it. That's how you get some Moondew Nectar. Maybe next we should start talking about how you can get some Palm Granite in the Ember Valley. I will explain all that in this video right here, but don't click on just yet. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on everything Slime Rancher 2 related. Thanks for watching and I'll see you over there.